So this was a really popular design on my Instagram yesterday. I've got the most likes I've ever got on this, which is amazing, thank you. Uh, so I thought I'd do a YouTube video just to show you how I did the, them. I got the inspiration from Terry Copeland Nails, who is amazing, go and follow. Um, so what you will need for these are a blooming gel, base coat, top coat, a white and a dark blue, however you can do it in any colour that you want to. Just have a, black, a play about and see what works. And then just some gold leaf. Pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay, so we're going to start with a layer of base coat. I am using the Pro Gel, but you can use whatever you want to use. So we want a nice layer, not too thick, but not too thin. So if you were doing a client, you would base coat first and then do this step because we're creating a wet layer for our colors to go on with this. Obviously, because I'm using a pop, I haven't base coated underneath. I'm not sure how Terry created hers, but I'm just showing you the way that I created mine. And then I'm using Admiral from the Pro Gel. And I'm just gonna dab on some color in places. And then at this stage, I'm just going to add a little bit of white into it. So not too much because we are going to come back in with some white. And then I'm just going to mix it in by swirling it. So if you've seen my previous um, gemstone tutorial, it's the same kind of action, so a little bit of swirling, a little bit of lines, just move it around and marble it in together. So you can work your way down and then work your way back up, move bits around where you want them. So we're wanting some lighter areas and some darker areas. If you want to add a bit more product of your dark or your light back on, then feel free. So I'm just going to add a touch more of my darker blue. Remember to wipe your brush before you pop it back in. This darker blue has got like a really pretty shimmer in it, which is lovely with this design. Also looks gorgeous next to the rose gold, but uh, not rose gold, normal gold leaf. So just keep working it until you're completely happy. And just make sure you've got your edges covered. Okay, 
Okay, so that went into the lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm going to add a little bit of gold leaf. So I've pre-cut um, some. So we're just going to use a little bit for now because we're going to add more in at the end. I'm just going to add that much for now and then I'm going to make these slightly different to the picture because I'm going to add a few flakes in there as well. So I'm going to use Kuka, Chameleon Flakes. Just to add a little bit of something different. More pretty. It might work better, but it might not. We shall see. So I just use my um, detail brush to pick up the flakes, just so that I don't pick up too many at a time. And place them where I want. And then I'm just gonna push all that down into the nail. Make sure it's nice and flat. See that different effect we've got going on there. So some of this on the next step is going to be masked, which is going to create more of like a matte effect, which is why we go back over with some more gold leaf that stands out. So we're going to apply a layer of Blooming Gel. If you haven't got blooming gel, you can try this step with base coat. I think it will work just as well. So a nice layer, again, not too thick, but not too thin. We need to be able to spread it around a little bit. And then we're going to come in with the white. And I'm just going to do a few little dabs in areas where I want it to be more lighter. And then because this is a blooming gel, it will bloom and spread so it should become cloudy looking so don't overdo this step just put a little bit on and then if you want to add a little bit more you can at the end but we obviously want to be able to see the blue as well. So I'm just gonna leave that to bloom for a sec. Just clean my brushes. it's starting to nicely bloom so 
what I'm going to do now is just work that in. So just nice, light, swirly strokes. So it looks a bit cloudy. You want to be getting some of the darker colour in between so that you can see both. And then just bring it over some of your gold leaf. So it creates like a little bit of a different texture. You've got a bit too much on you can bring some back off just wipe it onto your towel so I'm just pulling bits off so that I can see a little bit more of the darkness in between You can move the gel. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of the blue onto my palette and then just add little bits where I want them. So if you're happy with how it looks, you can cure or you can add a little bit more product, which I'm going to do, just so that we've got some darker little pieces. Just a few tiny more obvious swells. So you can build that up as much or as little as you want to. And then before we cure that layer, we're just going to add some more gold leaf on top. So kind of overlapping what you've done so you can see the difference between the two. And 
And the reason why I set it in this layer is because it sometimes can stick out a little bit. So I find it if you're sticking it into a wet layer, it sometimes sticks a bit better. are all the fiddly stuff to play about with but it is beautiful tiny little dollop of build up on the bottom so I'm just going to scoop a little bit of that off so I don't want any big blobs of gel sometimes when you're using blooming gel as well if you've applied a little bit too much it can seep down the edges so if you just run your finger preferably with a glove on just underneath or just down the side just so that you can take that excess off mine wasn't bad but sometimes you can get that okay so i'm happy with that i'm going to pop it in okay so i've cured that for 60 seconds under the lamp what i'm going to do now is just because you can see where we've used the gel and the foil there are some pieces sticking up so the blooming gel, sometimes you do get uh, an uneven surface because you're moving things around. So what we're going to do is a base coat, but a nice floaty base coat. Or you can use um, a clear builder, or you can double top coat, whatever your preference is. So I'm just going to apply a nice layer onto there. and float it down. And then just slightly build in across so it's smoother like you would if you were doing a gel overlay. Just fill in the areas where it needs it. Then I'm just going to tip it upside down for a couple of seconds. Let the gel move where it needs to. It's a lot smoother. Okay, so that's going in before it moves. And again, that's 30 second cure. Okay, so that's looking a lot smoother. So if you wanted to now, you could wipe your tacky layer off and just give it a little buff over, file the sides down a little bit if you've got any um, wobbly bits. But if you're happy, so I'm happy, I'm just going to top coat. So I'm going to shine this just because I prefer it looking shiny. So 
So again, you can float your top layer just to mask any imperfections if you have them. Just make sure your side walls aren't too thick and the gel isn't running. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to pop that in. For again 60 seconds. And here they are, finished articles. So this one's today with the chameleon flakes added. So it just gives that a little bit extra. And this one yesterday just with the gold flakes. Beautiful. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Please give it a share to anyone who you think would benefit from watching it. And I will see you again next time.